John, the teen at the center of this story, was also reportedly bullied at school after she was publicly shamed at home. And the sense of isolation that she months have felt is certainly shared by teens across the country, including those who live in our own area. Tonight, we spoke with a family who lives in the city, and they told us their tale of how they escaped that scene filled with negative mistreatment and bad energy. The 13-year-old girl in this video clip suffered the harshest kind of bullying. How many times did I warn you? Harsh because this extreme public shaming allegedly began at home, allegedly at the hands of her own father, who recorded and then uploaded the video, supposedly to teach his daughter a lesson. Consequences of getting messed up? Man, you lost all that beautiful hair. Was it worth it? It was not worth it. Because investigators in Tacoma, Washington, say after Isabel Laxamana's father allegedly cut her hair off, the teenager went to school and suffered even more bullying before committing suicide by jumping off a bridge. What were some of the worst things that you remember having said to you? The main one was thought, because I wasn't... Thought that blank over there. Yeah. Ali Muhammad says she can relate telling us about her own experience with bullying that drove her to a dark place. It was her mother who was there to throw her a lifeline. I've thought suicide myself. I've started cutting myself. I've done so many things to like hurt myself when I really shouldn't have. And so I could understand, well, I don't, I don't, how do I say this? I don't say it's right that she should have killed herself, but I understand her pain. I understand where she was coming from. For families at home who are watching this, what advice can you offer them on how to help a teen get a ticket out of that situation? Monitor your child at all times. Ask them questions. Be part of your, your child's life. Be part of everything. A you know, ask them about their day. See who their friends are. See who they're hanging out with. See who, you know, Know who your children's friends are, because sometimes friends are the ones that are doing part of the bullying. Board certified child and adolescent psychiatrist, Dr. Jody Gold, says if you are struggling, trying to figure out how to best help your bullied child, the first step is to make sure you are not part of the problem. We know that trauma and humiliation does not actually change behavior. If your kids misbehave, absolutely there needs to be consequences. But you need to sort of join with your child, help them to understand what they did, and figure out how to make their behavior change. What we heard from Dr. Gold and from Allie's mother is that if you are struggling, trying to figure out what to do, don't be afraid to ask for help. John Tamsin.